Hello everyone, it's time for Libra. A general reading, we got a jumper already, a page of pentacles, keep that in mind. Just said Libra and it popped out, so interesting enough. Uh, this will be a general reading uh, for the sign of Libra for the second week of February 2017. Thank you all for uh, those who have been viewing my readings and giving me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Even if you give me a thumbs down, I appreciate it. Um, doesn't really matter to me. It's really the views that count. You guys, I always have a feeling you're in the right moment at the right time. So, thanks again for stopping by and sharing this moment for, with me. And let's see what Tarot can do to uncover uh, some hidden messages, stuck energies, and give us some clarity. So that's for Libra, Tarot. We're looking for Libra for the second week of February 2017 Libra second week of February 2017 okay and uh, I hope that this video finds you all in good health and abundance and even joy this one wow okay let's get some cards out and see what's going on with you guys I gotta let you know that uh, with the full moon coming up uh, there's a lot of energy around and the tarot has been a little bit heavy. Uh, it's wanting to shine light in darker places. So a lot of people aren't getting what they want to hear. They're getting what they need to hear. And you've come to the right place because I don't sugarcoat crap. I just tell it like I see it. And uh, honestly, for most every sign here, the energies have been coming up heavy. Tarot's been wanting you to look deeper. Look at these issues that need to be cleared up. Overall energy of three of pentacles. Pretty good. We got workplace environments. They got you executing uh, at your craft and uh, generally impressing people and making and the good resources coming in uh, as a result of that. So I like this card for an overall energy. Shows that workplace situations are likely going to be on the up and up for the second week of February uh, for you guys. Okay, Libra, let's see what's in your grounding position. We got Empress uh, Reverse. So when you have Empress Reverse, and she's been showing up now for like three signs here have got her in the reverse. And she's telling me that most things like that you're expecting are going to be delayed. Um, the last two signs had her in the House of Creativity um, Reverse. You guys got her here in the House of Grounding Reverse. So this here um, is a sign that a lot of your situations, a lot of what you're wanting, we're going to have to do our best to kind of let go. If it's not like in our immediate ability to like get it, to grab it, we're going to have to like let the idea of it go. Like you can envision in it, but this card is a little bit of warning here in the in the grounding house not to obsess over things or you will you will actually like turn them away via like the laws of attraction here. This is an important message that obsessing over things, uh, wanting too much, and things of that nature are not going to bode well for you getting getting your desired uh, relationship or, or whatever it is that you want to attain. Um, so for this, I, I see here again that a lot of times people can really not want to like express themselves due to fear of reaction and again, I'm picking this up for some of you guys from, from this, Libra. Some of you have are really great personalities, but you've been holding back a little bit reserved. Um, not really like speaking personally, your personal truth. Um, just kind of, especially for younger Libras and people under the influence of Libra, just not wanting to like rock the boat, so to speak. And that's okay, but you can only do that to a point when... Because, you know, too much holding back is, does not allow for expression. And it's impossible, I, in my belief, to really ground uh, if you don't have a creative outlet to, to express. Otherwise, the energy just becomes too heavy and inevitably it gets stuck. So, for grounding, it shows that you guys are going to be able to ground all, all right. Um, she's very good with that. And even in the reversal, you're still going to have an okay time grounding. Just make sure... That, you know, when it's when it's your time, the introverted Libras out there, I really want you to really do your best to, 
to get out there a little bit more because I don't want to see any energies become stuck, okay? In the House of Creativity, you have a Four of Cups uh, upright. So this is uh, not a bad card. This means, again, just to what I went back and saying here with this Emperor's Reversal, the feeling that there hasn't been much room for creative expression because we've been a bit closed off. We haven't been allowing a lot of things in um, that have been presented to us. And whether this is coming in the forms of ideas or relationships, uh, that could have a lot to do with it. Maybe we just uh, are not ready for it, and that's wise. So the Four Cups is like a good balance card. It could go either way. The fact it's showing up in creativity here, though, it definitely speaks to me that we're kind of almost too closed off and there's this unwillingness to participate, to express. Um, and that is not even just with other people, but it can be like expression of things like down on paper or willing to express things in the form of like um, whatever it may be, building a craft or, you know, uh, putting putting an art project together, something of this nature. Our creative energies, I have a feeling, are a bit blocked here from from this Four of Cups. But it is balanced. It's showing like if you're just not ready to do that, um, like socially, doesn't mean that you can't like create it and store it away somewhere. We all keep a journal to keep our thoughts, you know, current and prevalent. Maybe that's a good idea for some of you is to get into a bit of journal writing and you can keep it locked away if you're not feeling ready to share with the world here coming up. Now this is a weekly general reading. So the energies aren't meant to be that heavy, but just with that full moon coming on 11 and all of those like eclipse stuff happening, there's like light in places that should be dark and darkness in places that should be light. It's just tarot is really getting to the nuts, to the roots of what's we, it really wants you to know this week and not just kind of like, you know, situations that you want to like feel good about. It's really like getting down there. So in your uh, position of gut instinct or your solar plexus, we've got the strength card, which is an excellent, excellent place for this card to be. This card is showing up reversed. Um, not too much differences in the energy. It's only showing that if anything there could be room for more strength, okay? It's showing that you have strength here and there's potential for strength here. It's almost like we need to fill up the tank to build to build up that reserve. So if this means lifting to you, that can go to the gym and lift. Um, if this means like um, really practicing with people close to you on expressing yourself so you have an easier time with people you don't know so well, that means doing that. Um, it, wherever you feel that you're lacking and you would like to improve in your life, this second week of February is going to be a good time, Libra, for you to practice and exercise strength in those things that you consider in yourself to be weak. Again here, we're all about balance, right? So the four cups says two on this side, two on this side. Strength, we're taking from lack, we're putting it into a point of strength, right? It's a good card to have in gut instinct. This is going to give you the power you need to get through your week, to get through your situation. So, affirmations, very important this week as well, Libra. Tell yourself the way you want to feel. Tell yourself to feel that way. Uh, the, way you want, the way you think others perceive you, tell yourself that that's the way other people are going to perceive you. Affirmations are going to be a big part of your week in order to see success. All right, We all want that. All right, Sacred Heart, Two of Cups reversed. Okay, so here is a situation where there is um, maybe a, a connection, a friendship or a romantic connection that you or the other person may be wanting to take to the next level, but it's surrounded in a bit of uncertainty, uncertainty, or it's lacking the go ahead from one of your, from one of your, either you or them in the, in their mind. Somebody is is stuck here by being a little bit scared, a little bit upset, and doesn't show that it's like really hurt from past relationships. It could be uncertainty of intentions. Does this person want to be my friend? Does he want a friend with benefits? Does she want a one night stand? Does he want to like latch onto me after one date? You know, is she going to be like immediately dependent on my income? Like things like that. There's uncertainty, but there is the potential here because I get that there's been a romantic friendship for a lot of you 
that you really haven't like come to terms with whether or not you'd like to take that to the next level. Um, so that's something that you can look at when you're looking into your heart to figure out whether or not you think you want to take that next step. Because if that person's asking you for it, you kind of need to let them know. And if that person's not asking for it and you're wondering why, you can like go within, figure out if some, that's something that you want, and then you can force the issue. Okay? Not a bad card to have here. I think for a lot of you, this is going to uh, really provide for a little bit of adventure, both inwardly and outwardly, with that friend, with that uh, potential that that romantic partner. Romance doesn't always mean sex. This can be like friends going to the movies together, friends going out for dinner together, and just like, you know, there's always that potential to take it to the to the next level. Okay? In Sacred Heart, I'm feeling a lot of you guys are thinking about somebody. You know, a romantic friend. And here we go. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So this here is, man, this when this queen is reversed, uh, there can be some real shady stuff going on. Um, she can be a real B-I-T-C-H, for lack of better letters, when she comes up reversed. And she's coming up in personal truth here. So I have a feeling somebody, some of you Libras might have somebody that's coming down on you. Like almost a feeling like your moms or your dads might be like a little bit too hard on you. Either that or maybe your kids are like your older children. Maybe being like really incredibly stubborn and interrupting your schedules and things of this nature this week. Um, this Queen of Pentacles reversed. This could also represent, um, you know, a particular person that you're thinking about with a lot of earth in their chart. Um, when it comes to like romance or business partnerships, but I have a feeling that this person is being stubborn. Someone in your life is being stubborn and it's causing you to feel like this little bit of lack and this uncertainty that's going on here. Um, so remember that when people are being stubborn and you're trying to like get something out of them or have them, you know, um, you know, be in a position like to maintain the re healthy relationship and they're just not acting that way. Yeah, sometimes you just got to like mysteriously withdraw because it's almost like that's what this person has done to you. It's it's interesting. There's some things here that, you know, are coming in with friendships surrounding uncertainty here in this um, fourth and fifth house of personal truth and heart. So I have a feeling it's someone dear to you, someone close to you, but the but it's been like surrounded in like uncertainty and stubbornness and lack of communication. So with this impersonal truth, we got to try and get to the bottom of what's going on here. Um, and this could be a boss. This With this kind of being here and you being a really good performer at work, this could be a boss. This one could be someone not giving you as much credit as you feel you deserve um, just because you're not like them. Does that, yeah, and, and that's okay because I got a feeling some some people, especially these like earth feminine signs in, in positions of business and influence, when, they, when they're in a funk, when they're like upside down like this, you, you can't really like, they will bring their personal attitudes and life problems into the workplace and it's bullshit, okay? Um, so my heart goes out to you a little bit on this one, Libra. If you're one of these Libra that are dealing with this, um, my advice here would be to just like continue working hard, but like don't be accommodating to this person. Just put in your time, and if you're not getting the recognition from this person for the hard work that you've been doing, don't worry about it because recognition from this person being in this state of mind, whether it's you know. Um, vanity or fear-based consciousness or whatever this is you you don't really want their their approval or their pat on the back anyways it would be like a a false victory so it's interesting to see her turn up here and just like this yeah in this house of personal truth here kind of being being an earth sign you know someone in a position of influence on to spiritual questioning and voyaging all right here we go, Libra. I got a feeling like a lot of you that are watching this are, are quite young. We got a few mature viewers, but this is one. This reading is speaking to younger people. Uh, we got a Knight of Pentacles here. So this 
could indicate on this reversal here. Uh, for those of you internalizing, you might be so fed up with this. Some of you are pondering a change of job, a change of profession, because uh, Libra, you've got talent, you're good at what you do. Um, but if you're not getting that recognition or that reward for help, and it's got to come then more than just financial compensation, you're ready to take your talents to another person, to another firm, to another venue to to reap more of the the kind of personal rewards that you're hoping to get from it that's what i'm getting here um as well i got a feeling that some of you have been working very hard you're not feeling like you're making a big impact a little bit of patience is required um some of you may be feeling like you're stuck spinning your wheels so in a position of spiritual uh progression and growth I almost got a feeling that a lot of the energies and people around you in your life right now are causing you to feel that things are a little bit stale. We need to sort of shake up the pepper jar, as it were, to like get some new things happening, get some new energies in, and you know, get some new environments happening. Like, look how old this tree that she's like leaning up. She's young and new and beautiful, and that tree is just like old and like blooming, right? But there's so much room like for you to go and run and be free. And that's what this one is saying here as well. Okay. Um, the crown energy coming down from the universe. A four of wands in reverse. Okay, nice. So this card typically speaks of celebration and protection. Uh, and when it's reversed like this, it can show that like things can be sometimes on a bit of a slippery slope. So just be cautious in decision making. Um, this this uh, week with the, this job performance thing, you could wait on this person to like maybe in their sign they're dealing with all this BS stuff, and then they'll eventually in a couple of weeks be back like this. And the person you actually signed up with, well, you go within and work on your strength and get things figured out, right? And then you'll be able to deal with these people in a in a lot better way. In a couple weeks, uh, a hasty decision to move uh, firms, which I have a feeling some of you are considering, may prove to be a little bit risky at this point in time. Um, and again, saying like creatively, things are going to be a little bit delayed and rooted. So it, it's my heart goes out to you here, Libra. You're going to kind of have to like batten down the proverbial hatches, as it were, to, you know, gather your power, gather your strength. Pull it all in. Put your focus yourself as center. All those affirmations that you're doing, while these other people are just kind of continuing around, not being communicative or being a bit of a jerks, right? Before you decide you're gonna make a harsh move, like you don't want to run away from what you know just quite yet. You don't want to do that because if this is a little bit, this is a little bit risky. This is showing that this could cause some more extra work, some more, uh, you know. Um, extra steps to get you to that goal that you're seeking, whatever that may be, fulfillment, you know, um, success. So again here, we got we got a few pip cards here. We got one court and two higher arcana, two courts, sorry, and two major arcana. So it's, it's pretty balanced. You guys are actually not going to struggle this week with the full moon in your energies and in your internalizing and some of the other signs. I just want to make sure you guys are not putting too much um too much you're not investing too much in what other people are like doing to influence your your energies be that your boss at work or uh your your boyfriend or your girlfriend uh or your your partner for those of you that are in relationships no hasty moves just gather your power this week and we'll see where we land after the full moon okay Thanks, Libra. It's been a slice. Uh, this week, I have a feeling it's going to move by really quick. I know last week did, so that means we'll be seeing you again real soon.